right now on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. It's my favorite restaurant in Lexington. We're going out to eat at a Kentucky restaurant that's getting national attention. I love it. Everything is excellent. The chefs are breaking new ground with a world of new flavors. The, the food is worldly um, inspired but very locally influenced. You'll get the secrets to what's making Azure Restaurant and Patio so popular, including their seared scallops, served with the polenta stuffed poblano pepper. I love the portobello mushroom. Miso honey glazed salmon. It's great, yes. Creative Kentucky Proud cocktails. And this, a dish that gives new meaning to the term smoking section. We definitely like the wow factor. It's your backstage pass to one of Kentucky's hottest restaurants right now on Secrets of Bluegrass Shop. Hello, I'm Tim Laird with the Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, the show that takes you behind the scenes of Kentucky's finest restaurants. Today, we're at Azure Restaurant and Patio in Lexington, where they're breaking new ground in the kitchen. We're definitely the place that you go to have something different. The flavors and presentations are out of this world, even though most of the ingredients come from right here in the bluegrass. Very Kentucky proud. Things just taste better if they travel shorter distances. Wait until you taste Azure's poppy seed salmon, served with local mushrooms, peppers, and sweet potatoes. Food so far has been excellent. And then there's the green tea smoked duck, an Asian take on Kentucky proud cooking. For Chef Jeremy Ashby, it's like making art on a plate. I just thought it was the, the, the neatest stuff to, to, to use the plate as a canvas and kind of use that as a way to do uh, artwork. Um, and it's really, really neat that it's edible. And speaking of Kentucky proud, the chef fits that bill too. I'm actually from Lexington, uh, so I'm returning home and this is my first business venture. It's safe to say, cooking is in Jeremy's blood. My granny was a great southern cook, my grandmother was a really, really awesome French cook. After culinary school, this local boy traveled the country and developed his own unique style of gourmet, making dishes like this, seared scallops with rock shrimp sauce and stuffed poblano pepper. And now, he's taking us inside his kitchen to reveal the secrets. As always, salt and pepper is the uh, way to start the meal. Very good. And um, you said these are U10s? These are U10s. They're dry. Um, Which that's just basically the weight? That is the weight. Size. What that okay. really means is there's usually on average a 10 per pound. Okay. Beautiful. All right, we're going to serve these up? Absolutely. Uh, minimal oil is pot, you know, really what you want to. Not too much. Just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. Searing the scallops is actually very easy. A lot of people like to mess with their food. Just let these sit. Really nothing to it. As long as you got that nice sizzle and pop, you're in good shape. Don't mess with this stuff. It's, uh, it's going to do fine on its own. You know, usually at the restaurant when we, we get the scallops in the pan, we have other accompaniments to the dish. Uh, for our scallops, we have a chili relleno. And this isn't your typical chili relleno. It's a huge poblano pepper that's deep fried, peeled, and then we stuff ours with polenta mixed with lots of cream, butter, and goat cheese. What a compliment to the scallops. These look like they're about ready to, to be turned if you can see the caramelization on the on either side. And the really crust nice. on there, Chef, I mean, that is incredible. That's what you really want to yeah. look for it's when very you're getting sweet. those uh, scallops, that really thick crust on yep. there that gives it some texture. Right, it gives, it's almost like a crunch. And wait until you see the sauce for those scallops. Uh, to start the sauce, or any sauce here at the restaurant, I kind of attribute it to maybe throwing a party. Um, you want to kind of invite all your best friends first <laughs> to set the tone of the, the evening. Um, you know, with, uh, for a sauce like this one, we want to use um, you know a little bit of olive oil. Really, really good friend in the kitchen. Starts off the party right. right. I like that. It uh, you got to have uh, the old garlic. You want we want a girl like garlic there first to set the tone of the party. <laughs> I like that. Um, I bring garlic to all my parties. <laughs> I can already smell that uh, yeah, garlic right. coming up out of there, just jumping right. out of the pan. Exactly. If you see the browning going on, oh, yeah. that's what oh, we like. Yeah. We like that toasted flavor in this sauce. Nice. Next up is going to be shallots. Hey, garlic's yeah. best friend. That's right. And it's a little bit more, I'd say, sensual, a little bit more sophisticated, a little smart. <laughs> you got to have some nice conversation at the party as well. 
We're gonna have a good time. A little pepper, some scallions, some cilantro. Pour that right in the pan. To this pan, we're gonna add mirin, a sweetened, okay. sweetened rice wine. A uh, little bit of an unusual ingredient for, for something like this. But Can you find that uh, anywhere? Uh, Asian markets. Asian in markets, fact, a little mirin, so we can have that at home. Next, the chef has a specialty shrimp from Florida called rock shrimp. Small, sweet, lots of flavor. And we're going to give a good amount, too. With the liquid in there and the shrimp, it really makes its own little sauce. Chef, this is almost a meal, more than a, just a sauce here. I mean, I can well, almost, almost eat this on its own. We want people to have their money's worth and plus have a good time. <laughs> yes, so. I like that. Yeah. We'll finish the dish, or the sauce, with the red chili. Give it a good stir. Um, it should be ready for plating. I can tell that's a big party going on right there. there You've is. got it. There it is. <laughs> The poblano pepper being the base of this dish. The scallops will be followed by the uh, rock shrimp sauce we made with the uh, toasted garlic and honey and chilies. Uh, definitely want to make sure you get all those shrimp on the plate. That's the, uh, the good part, the customer. You want to have a good bite of shrimp with every oh, yeah. bite of scallop. We're going to do lots of uh, the extra sauce to fill in the plates. He tops that with a fresh mango relish and still more flavor and flair. We'll finish the dish usually with these locally grown daikon sprouts. It adds a great presentation, plus that fresh kind of uh, added, you know, the flavor you were talking about just a second ago. Uh, that'll garnish the top of the dish, and uh, then it's ready to go out the window. We we'll usually um, put it right up here and send it out to the servers. Oh, excellent job, Chef. Chef, it's seared scallops, but there's a lot more on there, I can tell you. That is a full meal in itself. I love it. Thank you.